Auschwitz with number one across, Dorothy Lamour. Number six across, Pat McCormick. Number two down, Elaine Joyce. And number four down, Peter Isaacson. The keeper of the concert, Jack Clark. That's not true. How are you? Good to be with you. Nice week starting, and we're pleased as we can be to uh, welcome a newcomer to our digs here, and welcome an old comer too, uh, Peter Isaacson. And look who's here, Dorothy Lemoore. Welcome. <laughs> Ovation yes, yes. standing ovation. For you, too. All right. Man, just, <laughs> we're thrilled. Country boy looking for a home. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and, and, and we're, and we're sending you back to one right after the show, Peter. Why do I always get stuck with comedians? <laughs> <laughs> Story of my life. Don't think of me as a comedian. Think of me as a funny fellow. Let yes, them that's on. right. And you are. And let's think of your captain, too, who's waiting to be reintroduced. He's uh, relocated his own management consultant firm here in Los Angeles from Connecticut. He told us his goal is to teach computers to think on their own. We've been trying to get Congress to do that for years. Would you say, Fred Geiger. Welcome, Fred. Thank you, Fred. I don't think. Fred's got a firm handshake. That's what we like. That's what we like. Well, there's another team over there that's ready to do battle. Elaine Joyce is back with us, as is Pat McCormick. Welcome, gang. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Thank you, Jack, for putting the gift underwear in my dressing room. I appreciate that. <laughs> oh, that's, Very nice. Yes, wear it in good health. It's prescription. <laughs> <Yes>. uh, <laughs> yes. Say it's hello to you. <laughs> yes, it's uh, just, just for you. Your team captain is an X-ray, speaking of underwear, a technologist <laughs> who uh, recently moved to Los Angeles from Pensacola, Florida. She's a talented pianist. Uh, she told us that she can fake any emotion. Isn't that... Boy, that's going to thrill any old boyfriends who are watching. Say hello, <laughs> Pam Fisher. Welcome, Pam. Uh, Fisher. Fisher. Yeah. Wow. She just, she just faked liking me. <laughs> she really, I told you she was terrific. Uh, hey, we're going to play crosswords, crossword puzzles, points, prizes. They have mysteries. The clues are words. Uh, the words are clues. Either one, you know, none of the above. Uh, for the captains too. Let's uh, do this this week or uh, maybe today. Put the first word on the puzzle. Solve the puzzle. You drive home in this brand new automobile, Jay. Yes, it could be all yours. This all new Chevy Chevette. The new standard features, AM radio, 126-liter engine, and more. Chevette, white Chevrolet. <laughs> she's adorable. Jerry oh, Fiala, our lady. Isn't she something else? <laughs> hey, a firm handshake up there won the toss backstage, so you get to start, Fred. Thank you, Jack. I'd like to start with uh, three down and Dorothy Lamar. Oh. Here it is. Uh, we're starting off with the biggie there, Dorothy. Nine letters. The new army. Or... I'll often step back when someone needs a what? I will often step back when someone needs a what? A favor? No, that isn't Or that. the new army. The new army. Is that the United States Air Corps? Seven seconds. United States Navy. Uh, Air Corps. Uh, Navy Air Corps. Uh, Figured out there, Fred? Uh, Serviceman? No, good thinking, but not what we're after. Okay, Pam, take over, honey. Okay, I'll take three down with Elaine Joyce. The new army, Elaine, or I'll often step back when someone needs a... Yes, I've seen you do that. <laughs> yeah, but the word's out. It's the word's true. Out. When somebody needs a volunteer, you step You broke right the away. code. Yeah, I'm out of there. I don't want to have to do that. <laughs> that is terrific thinking there, my dear. Pam, it's terrific for you, too. You got the 90 points and a shot at the car. What I do you think do? I'm going to play for points. Gonna... Okay. We're looking for a place. Pat's up. Okay. One across, please. Another nine-letter thing for you, Pat. V there in the middle. A poem. You'll love it. On towards this town, I'll soon be starting. I've fallen in love. I want Dolly Parton. 
<laughs> what was... Don't Is that a poem or are you having a fit? Please. I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm standing out here, you know. Not bad with 24 like, acorns in your mouth. <laughs> All we need is two That's slices poem, of bread. Huh? I'm well, supposed to think of a poem? Well, that was a poem, but on what? towards this town is the key part of that poem. Oh, it's the town. The oh, town. yeah. I see. On toward okay. this town, I'll soon be starting. I'll fall in love. I'll All right. Parton. Let's see. It's not Versailles because that would be up in front there. Uh. It's uh, <laughs> uh, Tuluva, Tuluva Lake. No, not <laughs> uh, uh, Bulb. No, no. Let's see. Uh, I'm. Uh, <laughs> Pam. Hope you got it, Pam. Lost me. On this town, no. <laughs> All right, Fred, you need to catch up now. One across. Okay, one across. Me. All right. You don't want me to do it again, do you, Peter? Yes, I do, because uh, oh. I, like to see people, I like to see people in trouble. I tell you, uh, an no. entire career right down the tube. No, it went yeah. a lot sooner than this, hey, Jack. <laughs> This, this is not the turning point. Oh, this yeah. is just oh, another yeah. step in that I, direction. I didn't know you'd seen the show before. Yeah. All right. On towards this town, I'll soon be starting. I'll fall in love. I want Dolly Parton. You really oh. do that thing at the end well. <laughs> I, I remember the clue. I didn't remember the little... I should have studied and is been a Nashville? dentist. I wouldn't have... De Nashville. Yes. Oh. Thank you. Oh, I'm so humiliated. Yes. Well, High score. <laughs> uh, six across, please, Jack. Dorothy, for you. Five-letter oh. word. Has a T, second one. It describes New York, but not New York. It describes New York, but not New York. Yeah. Describes uh, New York, but not New York. State? State is right. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Way to go. Bob Hope, eat your heart out. <laughs> Get me his joke right. books today. Yeah. <laughs> now what, Fred? Four down, please. Okay, Peter. Five-letter word, T next to the end. The type of dance Mr. Disney might have loved best. Well, I was, was going to say state for this one, but it's... No. Yeah, I'm so glad you didn't. Said we know. Uh, the type of dance that... Uh, Mr. Uh, Disney uh, might have loved. Square, uh, 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 a jig, uh, uh, a rock. Uh, Fred. Oh. No? Okay, Pam. Good luck for you. Elaine is up. Four down. A type of dance Mr. Disney might have loved best. I always get the rejects. Did you ever notice that? <laughs> <laughs> they didn't get it, now I get it. No, you're not the only one I do, too. How about that, Bobby? <laughs> yeah. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> Robert Redford was her first choice. <laughs> As for that, I'm not going to answer. Oh, boy. Well, You're right. Yes. <laughs> I can't wait to see you and Bobby on Tattletales again. Now, what do you want to do, Pam? I want to call a conference. Here you go. we got a tie score. Looking for a place. Oh. We should put your head and win your prize, Pam. Tennessee. Tennessee. Yeah. Good contest. Seven across was Ernie to go with five down Ford, Tennessee Ernie Ford, and two down south. It is in the south, and it's the state and the volunteer state. Uh, all those nice things. Hey, good for you, Pam. You got that prize. Here it is. Yes, it's a new dining room. Commonwealth by Bassett. Country Oak Finish on open grade wood products and selected hardwoods. Oval table and chairs with China base and China hutch. It's furnished by Bassett. Congratulations. Anything can happen here, Fred. You're 100 back, but the next puzzle's yours. The car is still available. We'll get it ready and come back. You do, son. Be soon.
Augustus can receive the following. Shake up the taste of milk with PDQ milk flavoring in chocolate, strawberry, or eggnog. With PDQ, milk is a dairy tale come true. Or 24-ounce resealable white mouth jars of pure Sue honey. Great for topping, baking, and cooking. Discover the natural goodness of Sue Or ham it up any way, any day with lean, tender, ready-to-eat crackers, Atalanta, polka brand, Polish hams. Or American tourists with man's or ladies' weekend are designed to go everywhere. One-piece molded construction. The strong, lightweight luggage by American Tourister. Now, back to Jack Clark. Thank you very much, Jay Stewart. Let's catch them, Fred. Okay, Jack, I'd like to take Call six o'clock. Call a conference. <laughs> <laughs> a little early, Lane, but good strategy. Oh. Six across with uh, Peter Isaacson. Please. Here it comes, Pete. Six-letter word for you. Uh, the comedian whose prop is a malaprop. Is a, I'm sorry. The comedian right. whose prop is a malaprop. Is a malaprop? Is a malaprop. I, really, I don't know what a malaprop <coughs> is. Oh, in that case, I'll start the clock. Seven well, uh, 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 Bob Hope, uh, George Carlin, uh, 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 no idea. What do you say, Fred? Uh, Crosby. Yes! Yes! Yeah. I said that. I I beg your pardon, I didn't hear you say it. That's, that's Norm Crosby, who does all of those funny-sounding words when... What uh, does malaprop mean for uh, the people well, at home that are as bright as I you am? You are one! Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, would, no, that's, let's start with the word cat, Peter. Uh, you know, just yeah. get... <laughs> A malaprop is, is an improper word, a word, a made-up word, that, uh, or an improperly used... Here's another word. improper word. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> Quick! <laughs> Hey, you, got, you got a chance at the car now, Fred. What do you want to do? I think I'll go for a check. Okay. We oh. wish you well, my friend. But you got to do this all by yourself, as you know. And there's the clue. Crosby, you think about it for five seconds. <laughs> I was hoping it might happen, and it might happen now. The new car could be yours, Fred. Your answer, please. Dorothy Lamour. Boy, does that make sense. But that's not right. Oh. Not what we're after. Too many letters. And, uh, <laughs> no, uh, this also fits our category, crowd pleasers, but uh, that's not what uh, we're after. You'll find out. Pam, it's your puzzle. Um, I'll take two down with Pat McCormick, please. Here it comes, Pat. Nine-letter word. The sling that helps you walk crooked. Sling? Let's see, uh... Sling? Jock the sling. <laughs> <laughs> I, would, I would have bet five dollars on that. I would have no doubt that that was going to come out. Oh, boy. The sling that helps you walk crooked. The sling that helps you walk crooked. Seven seconds. Uh, oh. Okay, well, i got to say things here now. Let me see. Um, the slings and arrows. The, uh, don't know. Pam. Wiggle. No, no, that's not. Okay. You dodged it, Fred. It is uh, back to you. Uh, it, uh, the category up here says uh, singular crowd pleaser, but it should be the plural crowd pleasers. Okay, Jack, I'd like uh, one down this time, please. Okay, and Dorothy's going to play this six-letter <laughs> word. Ends in an R, Dorothy. When folks call her on the phone, this lady answers, sorry, it's the wrong number. Well... When, uh, folks, when uh, folks call wrong, her on the phone... I always say, hello, no. no this, this lady answers, sorry, it's the wrong number. <laughs> Seven Operator? Seconds. No. When, uh, telephone? Um, when folks call her on the phone, uh, ooh, she says... Ooh, ooh. Who are we talking about, Fred? Lamour. Aren't you ashamed of yourself, Dorothy? <laughs> <laughs> joke so many times what's so wrong about I, that I, you know, I thought you know you just block it from your head wouldn't have what any part is l'amour huh all right okay. that is that is a dumb dumb the right, more the merrier but what? i want to say that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not a feeder if you'd like oh, to continue four down please all right pete five letter word for you why at the end uh, uh, when you put these papers at the bottom of the cage it might make your bird laugh uh, I know. Political section of our paper. <laughs> well, that's true. <laughs> but make basically. Thank you. Seven seconds. The funny paper. The funny paper, sure. <laughs> now what, Fred?
Fred. Three across, please. Dorothy, it's for you. Four-letter word. As an A for the second one. In South Pacific, what's high? In South Pacific, what's In high? South Pacific, what is high? Drunk. Valley <laughs> um, high. Valley high. Now what, Fred? I'd like to call a conference. Here you go. Seven seconds. Crowd pleasers. This would give you another hundred points, Fred. Win your prize. What are we after? The road pictures? Absolutely. Okay, now the uh, sling uh, that helps you walk crooked is a Singapore sling. Oh, oh, oh. Have enough of them and you're going to oh, walk really crooked. Second. Road to uh, Singapore. Five across was Hong Kong. Road to Hong Kong. Uh, Seven across, I road to like Morocco. That. And five down. <laughs> got to be Mr. Hope in there for five down. It's always got to be Mr. Hope. <laughs> yeah, well... <laughs> Otherwise. Thank God, because I love him. Yeah, yeah. Don't okay. tell him I said so. I won't. Nobody could hear. There's was, was a secret here. Fred, you got that prize. Let's look at it. It's for your home, Fred, and you dishwasher. The oh, Maytag right. giant capacity dishwasher with three-level washing action, top, center, and bottom. And exclusive self-cleaning micromesh filter. Quiet operation from Maytag, the dependability people. Okay, Pam, uh, you fell behind. Next puzzle is yours, though. We'll get it ready in a couple of minutes. Stay where you are. Some of our contestants could receive from Peter Paul peanut butter bar. It's love at first bite, just the purest chocolate and the smoothest peanut butter. Real goodness with no artificial ingredients. Or rice a -roni, the big flavor side dish that's so quick, so easy. Rice a -roni, the one you saute and simmer to flavor perfection. Rice a -roni, the San Francisco treat. Or record a call 80, automatic telephone answering system. Voice actuated with a remote control that plays back your messages from anywhere in the world. Or Hamilton Beach's new yogurt maker makes delicious homemade yogurt with store-bought quality for pennies with six individual glass jars. Hamilton Beach, Scoville. And here here is Jack Clark. Thank you, Jay. Rush along, Pam. Looking for a person. What's Elaine, Joy? Two down, eight-letter word. A legion and a cheese, Elaine. Oh. Wait a minute, wait a minute. The turn has started, so we're not finished yet. But eight letters, mathematically impossible to catch them. Fred, you're our winner. Congratulations. Hey. When we start the show, we set the timer button, and it just goes when it goes. Oh, that's, sure. what, that's what sure. happened to us. But Elaine did start this uh, <laughs> two down, and it could win a prize for Pam. So let's see if we can. Oh, my God. Uh, a legion and a cheese in eight letters. Okay. Uh, Gorgonzola, Swiss, cheddar, uh, uh, Velveeta, uh, a, a, le a legion, uh, a battalion... Uh, uh, um, uh, Roquefort. Pam? What do you say, Pam? Uh. No, don't say it, please. I'm sorry. I really am. Mm -hmm. I wanted it to happen. But if you don't mind, since we have not exposed any of the puzzle, we're going to, uh, shall we do it? Shall we tell them? Yeah. All right. We really write that one. American is what we were after, Pam. Oh, yeah. American, American Legion and American Cheese. But I think we're going to try to save the puzzle because it's kind of cute, and uh, we'll rewrite that whole thing there, and we'll bring it back uh, in time that's or two from now. Okay. Well, Pam, let's see how it worked out. You got the dining room that you won by solving that first puzzle, and I hope you had a good time. We enjoyed yes. having you on the show. Thank you. And Fred, my friend, uh, it is crossfire time coming up for you. Chance at a fabulous vacation trip. We'll hope it works out for you. Two minutes away. Fred Geiger is about to do it to the crossfire round. Win a trip and this, Jay. If you guess all ten words, Fred, you'll win a microwave oven. The new Amana Touchmatic Radar Range with Cookmatic Power Shift. Makes microwave cooking simple and flexible, puts you in full control of cooking speeds. Remember, if it doesn't say Amana, it's not a radar range. 
If you have another decision to make, my friend, uh, either Peter or Dorothy will help you win all those things. Well, Jack, for her many road pictures that gave me many hours, Dorothy Lamar. Hey, come on, Dorothy. All right. Here she comes. Uh, okay, there's the team for you. We're going to start that 60-second clock as soon as you ask for your first word. Good luck to you, Fred. Thank you. One across, please. A person who steals things in stores. Shoplifter. Yes. Two down, please. Uh, you write on one. Pad. Yes. Three down, please. Uh, actress in the original King Kong. Faye. Yes. yes. Four down, please. Feature of a robin. Uh, red breast. Yes. Oh. Six across, please. All right. You find one behind most homes. Yard. Yeah. Yes. One down, please. The weapon used against Goliath. Uh. Slingshot. Yes. Uh. Five across, please. All right. Frosted. Iced. Yes. Seven across, please. Tonsillectomies, appendectomies, nose jobs. Operations. Yes. Oh. Eight oh. down, please. West Coast pro football player. Ram. Yes. Nine down, please. Found in a pen. Ah. Ink. Yes. <laughs> Now that the ice has been properly broken, I got to tell a little tale. Dorothy uh, watches the show a lot, and she was a little nervous about coming on because she didn't know whether she'd do well. Well, that has been put to rest forever. You did beautifully. Yes, you did. And Fred, you did it all. Let's take a look at it. Jay? Well, first of all, Fred, you won that microwave oven and American Tourister luggage. This lightweight and strong, the prettiest piece of protection your clothes will get. Whether it's a bus to Buffalo or a jet to Jamaica, you travel first class with American Tourister. And you're going to use that luggage on your cruise of the Caribbean. <laughs> Yes, it's a Chandra's crew departing from Curacao or San Juan, sending and swimming aboard the magnificent air-conditioned SS Britannus of Greek Registry for a seven-day Caribbean hideaway cruise visiting six romantic ports. It's from Chandra's Cruises, and have a marvelous voyage. Okay, Brad. Let's exchange clothes. <laughs> <laughs> the dishwasher, the microwave oven, the luggage, the cruise to the Caribbean. Congratulations, Fred. And uh, we're going to go away for the uh, day now and put uh, Big Pat back into shock therapy. <laughs> Elaine and Dorothy next time. Pat and right. Peter with you. Jack Clark. Bye-bye, yeah. Fred. <laughs> Trips awarded on the cross which are subject to availability. If you're planning to be in the Los Angeles area for an extended stay and you'd like to be a contestant on the cross which, we have a phone number area code 213 462 2212. For tickets to see the show, you may write to KPTV 5746 Sunset Boulevard, Hollywood 90028. This is Jay Stewart speaking. The cross which is a Ralph Edwards production.